Good morning. Hello. It is Sunday. Um, I don't know what time it is. I'm really tired because if I was going to give a chapter name to last night, I would call it the night that never ended. If you remember last time, the sleeping pad that I had had a hole in it, so it's pretty much sleeping on the ground. So I borrowed a different one this time. It also seemed to have a hole in it. I don't understand because Melva used it last time and she didn't have a problem, so maybe it's user error. I don't know what, but I've used many sleeping pads in my life and not had this problem, so I don't know. But the sleeping pad that I gave Drew, that was my dad's, is like basically a mattress, so I was really jealous. <laughs> Should have kept that for myself. Um, but other than that, it was good. I feel okay. And today we're about to we have coffee and we're gonna uh, have breakfast and then we're gonna summit Blood Mountain and then we have um, eight miles after that to the car. I wanted to show you guys, every shelter has a little privy and it's usually down a little trail. It's basically like a composting outhouse situation. This one's pretty clean. So on the AT there's a leave no trace rule. So if you go to the bathroom and you use toilet paper, you have to take it with you. Um, so when you get to a privy, you're allowed to throw the toilet paper in there. So that's nice. But other than that, it's similar to just peeing in the woods. There's what it looks like. There's a giant tree right here. It's just a little, little toilet. That's it. Thought you'd be interested in seeing it. One of the things I really wanted last time was a little bar of soap. So I brought this like teeny piece of soap and I was able to like wash off last night and I feel so clean. I have a clean shirt and my bra actually dried really well, so I just feel like so not smelly and so not gross. Also, I wanted to show you this cable system. This is another option for bears. If you don't want to use the bear box, like I said in the last video, you can hang your food up here. Like I guess if the bear box is full, I think it's like a pulley system. So the bears can't reach it. Glorious morning. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. To continue on? Vamos! Come on, vamanos! Come on, let's get to it! What's the rest? I know we can do it! We can. Where are we going? Blood Mountain. Where are we going? Blood Mountain! <laughs> <laughs> the top of Blood Mountain. We decided to have lunch. I think it's like one. We're hiking now to Neil's Gap. I'm a little overexposed. Wow. Really bright. Um, <laughs> so we put our car at Tesna Tea Gap, but we forgot our car keys. And my car is back at Woody Gap. So we're hoping we can go to Neil's Gap. There's a general store there. And we're hoping we can call somebody to come pick us up and take us to my car and then we'll go back and get the other car. I'm not too sure of everywhere I've been This medicine keeps telling me I'm winning Oh Marilyn, where have you been? I've been looking for a place within All this carousel is spinning me I've been up and down through heaven and hell <laughs> Woo! Welcome to Neil 
Nails Gap. <laughs> Where's Neil? What was that? Where's Neil? Let's go meet him. Neil. I'm just kidding. He's there, he's behind you. Oh, <laughs> there's Neil right there. So we're sitting at the Nails Gap general store thing. I read on the app Gut Hook that I've been using. Loud, loud. I read that this is like the first major milestone for a through hiker, so that's exciting. The store is really cool. Um, we called a shuttle. I had to call like seven shuttles um, because it's last minute, and they're all they're all like I'm really far away. And one person was like I'm in Colorado. <laughs> I was like okay, cool. Um, but someone's gonna come get us in an hour and then we'll go to my car and then we'll go to the other car and then we're gonna go home. And I'm gonna have a Snickers bar right now. Yeah. I was just editing this video and I realized I did not end it. Um, <laughs> it's a couple weeks later and I just wanted to explain what was going on if you were confused. Basically, when we camp, we take two cars and we park one at the end and then we all shuttle to the, the bottom and we leave a car there. And then we walk to our car and then get in it, drive back to the first car and then drive home. And on the second day, when we were walking to our car, we realized we didn't have keys to that car. So we called a shuttle, um, which is just like local people that um, are really into the AT and will come pick you up. And I learned a lot about hiking culture just in the 20 minutes that I spent trying to call a shuttle because I went into the, I kept calling it the general store, but it wasn't called that. It was the big store at Neil's Gap. And I just asked the guy to help me and he had a list of just hikers that will do shuttles and it was so funny because they all just had tra trail names. I don't know if you guys are familiar with AT culture but a really hiking culture in general like if you go on a through hike uh, which is when you hike from the beginning to the end you might get a trail name which is what everyone will call you like a nickname. Um, and so everyone was like telling me their trail name and the guy running the store was telling me he didn't have a car He like only walks places since he did the AT and it was just really funny um, And the woman that picked us up her and her husband did the AT She said they did 500 miles north and then 500 miles south. They turned around and walked back the uh, same 500 miles, which I can't I hate going backwards. I can't even imagine um, But they did it because of weather so it was just fun getting to meet AT people. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we ended up only getting to hike, I guess, like five miles from to Neil's Gap, so we didn't do the whole day, but we were tired and it didn't really matter. Um, uh, as of editing, editing this now, uh, we do have plans to go hiking again. So we, uh, by the time you see this, there shouldn't be any gaps. So the next video you see will be on another hiking trip. <laughs> to you, it'll just be like we're always out there, <laughs> but we're not. We have jobs and everything. In fact, if you're wondering about my job, um, I've now worked, I'm in the middle of my fifth week. Yeah, five and a half weeks, so it's going great. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, any other personal updates? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> if you want personal updates, uh, go listen to my podcast. Uh, thank you so much for listening to, listen. Okay, every time I do my podcast, I say thank you for watching. Um, and now I'm, I'm saying thank you for listening. I like can't get it right. Oh my gosh. Okay. My podcast is linked in the description below. <sighs> thank you for watching. Good grief. Thank you for watching this video. It's a video, not a podcast. Uh, also, I got a special request um, from one of you guys to change the song at the end. So, you know, I'm here to please. Um, your wish is my command. Here is the new outro song. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Today, not tomorrow.